My name is Cindy and I'm making this video in support of the Women Coalition campaign for the rights to keep and protect our children. My story is about my family of three children, which involves primary of my middle daughter, Monique, who is repeatedly the victim of parental abduction abuse by her father after broke up the relationship and wanted to get revenge at me by hiding her for six months, where she was also not attending school. I was not legally or even commonly married to this man. In 2007 in Texas, he tried to get custody of my daughter, but it backfired and I was awarded primary, residential, and management conservatorship on the joint custody. Around that time, me and my son and my daughter encountered his mental abuse of harassment of 16 times a day, seven days a week, of his daily threats, stalking of my home and my workplace, through emails, phone calls, and even texting. Through him, I lost one job and out of two put me in a financial problems. He has called the CPS and the police so that he wants to collect proof that my daughter and son were neglected. Meanwhile, he failed to pay child support. The nightmare went on for three years till we went to the Netherlands in 2010 when he turned around and filed abduction charges against me. He has filed a fabricated story with a legal notarized statement of US State Department to Dutch court that he is the custodian parent of my daughter. The Dutch court judges didn't understand the Texas custody order of who has custody. I have told them that I am the appointee custodian and I warned them that he is prohibited of possession due of history of child abuse by abducting my daughter. But the court refused to believe this and gave my daughter and to the father since they believed him and his statement. The father took Monique on 16th of January 2012 from me, her brother, and her baby sister. Five days later, after he took possession of Monique and took her to the United States, the Dutch court and the central, Dutch central authority found out, after rereading the Texas order, that he didn't was the custodian parent, that I was actually a signed parent of Monique of 80% and he has 20%. They neglect to get this corrected and place me to fix their faults. They refuse to read and contact the court system in the United States before they went to court. It has been four years of not seeing or hearing my daughter, Monique, because the father has hit her again, disconnect his phone call, phone, his contact numbers, block address where he lives, block Facebook, and move to another state. I hope you take this time to read this and as I promised to my daughter, I will find you again.